Hi, welcome back to Growing by the Book. So today we are going to be talking about graphic novels. So I want you to think if you know what a graphic novel is, if you've read any, what are your favorites, and think about if you, after today's lesson, would want to create one for your book that you're going to write. Our desired result is how do children's book books help children work through problems? At the end of the lesson, you'll be able to understand how children's books can serve as a vehicle to help children in many ways. So we're going to talk about, like I said, graphic novels today. So a graphic novel is a story told through a combination of text and images. The terms graphic novel and comic books are often used interchangeably, but there are some differences. Um, we'll be looking at comic books and graphic novels. Um, and I'm going to give you an example of a graphic novel to go through today. Graphic novels are not a genre a type of literature. Instead, they're a medium of literature, a means or a way of telling a story. So there are different genres of graphic novels, action, horror, romance, etc. But we're going to focus on our example of a children's book today. So we're going to talk a little bit about the anatomy of a graphic novel for those of you who've never seen one. So like any other text, graphic novels are read from the left to the right and the top to the bottom. So you'll just follow it that way. The graphic novels contain panels, tiers, frames, gutters, dialogue balloons, thought balloons, captions, and side effects. So if we go to this first example, we can see the caption, speech balloon, a certain font, the frame, the panel, and the gutter, that space in the middle. They're going to contain conversations between characters and they will play, take place in dialogue balloons. So they are read left to right or top to bottom as well. So we can see the order that they would go through here. Then we have thought balloons and they contain the thoughts of a single character. So they'll normally be those, these little dots to show that they're thinking instead of speaking. It's coming from their brain, not their mouth. And you'll see sound effects. So visual clues like what? Wow, pow, boom, zip, black, things like that. So it's, they sound like what they are. And you will be asked to watch a video of an author from El Defo. So a deaf woman who talks about her struggles in reading and how she decided to write a book called El Defo. And you'll be asked to respond to these questions. Why is it so important for the author of El Defo to have the option to read graphic novels? Or why do struggling readers, um, why is it so important for them to have that? And how can a graphic novel about a young girl suddenly lose her hearing help children? So you'll complete your assignment for today and watch the first two chapters of the graphic novel and watch the short speech by the author. So you should be able to understand how children's books can serve as a vehicle to help children in many ways and think about if that is something that you would like to write about.